What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is going to be all about the snakehead which we got from Wolf Aquatics a few weeks ago. So welcome back to the video everyone. So as you can see, well you might not actually be able to see this on the camera but there is my golden cobra snakehead just at the top here, just sort of chilling out. It's the first time I've ever kept a snakehead and honestly I absolutely love this fish. It's like um, basically a mini monster fish, you know, this fish is going to get really big one day, a bit like the arowanas really, you know, it's that sort of thing, so I'm really looking forward to um, progressing with this guy, I do want to get another one um, in this tank eventually, but they are going to be moved eventually over here, this tank's going to be going, this four foot tank behind us, so I'm going to be putting a bigger tank there, it's about 350 litres, a friend of mine is getting rid of a tank, which I'm going to be putting two of these golden cobra snakeheads in, I'm sort of thinking like a red sort of gravel, with some Anubis on wood, bits like that. Just something nice and easy, nice and easy to keep. So yes, it'd be like 350 litres, that, that sort of size tank over there. Um, eventually I am gonna get them a six foot tank, which is gonna be probably like 700, 800 litres, just for two big Cobra snakeheads eventually. That is the plan anyway. But um, I have been flicking through YouTube the last few weeks about this fish, and there is not a lot of people on YouTube that have these fish, especially in the UK. I haven't found any actually. A lot of people in India and places like that have them. Um, well, obviously there are keepers out there, but they're not putting videos up on YouTube telling you how to keep these fish. So it's actually going to be quite fun for me to show you how to keep these fish over the next few months, next few years. Um, show you what to feed them, what their temperatures are, um, what filtration they need, how much flow they need in their tanks, that sort of thing. So I am still learning with this fish. Um, but if you really want to know about these snakeheads, there is a guy at Wolf Aquatics called Alan. So yeah, he will be like the guy I go to if I have any problems with my snakehead. But at the moment, he's doing absolutely fine. I've been feeding him um, pellets, um, he's had mussels, he's had prawns, um, shrimp, he's had all sorts of stuff. So he's, he's not a fussy eater, he has been eating a lot of stuff. But anyway, let me show you the fish. So he's actually being shy right now. So this is the snake here, just under my filter there. Sorry about all the water marks I've got on the tank here. I did a water change on this tank yesterday and some of the water did actually spill on the glass. But check him out, there he is. Absolutely beautiful fish. Now you can see the colors are starting to come through on him. So when you buy juvenile um, sort of monster fish, like even like arowanas, they do look a bit, um, they don't look the best when you first get them, you know, so a lot of people see them in the shops and they go, oh, what's that, you know, but you've got to give fish time. Over the next few months, this fish will start showing some really cool colours. Obviously, he will start putting on some size as well and um, start interacting with me a bit more. So I am trying to get this fish used to me. I have been um, sort of putting my hand in the tank, sort of getting him used to my hand and that. But obviously, this fish is out of my fish room, so it's hard for me to come and see him like constantly because obviously I'm not out in the fish room all the time. It's not like my arowana's out in the lounge. I'm constantly there so they know who I am and they're not too skittish and that sort of thing. But yeah, he's an absolute wicked fish. Sorry, I can't really do a really good view for you because he's sort of hanging underneath the filter at the moment. Let me zoom in so we can get a better view. So there he is there. But honestly, it's a wicked fish. I'm really looking forward to this guy, how he's gonna progress. Because um, I do like my monster fish. I'm mad on monster fish. That's probably what I'm mostly into in the fish keeping, like sort of big fish and I've got a massive passion about growing fish up as well, so I do like to buy fish small, especially um, my monsters like my birches. I've got a few birches in this tank as well, which I'm gonna grow up, and eventually they will be absolute monsters one day. So yeah, I've been feeding him, like I said earlier, loads of random bits. Um, he likes his pellets, which is good. I like to get my fish on pellets. Um, he is in a small tank at the moment. Well, it's not actually that small. It's about 150 litre, this tank, so, it's doing okay, I've got plenty of filtration on it. I've got a Eheim um, pickup filter there. There is a sponge filter over there and it has got this um, canister filter here. I actually got this tank for like 100 quid ages ago. It come with a heater, come with everything. So great buy. It's just, I basically use it as a quarantine sort of grow up tank. So yeah, he's doing absolutely fine here at the moment. But um, I do feel like he's lonely. I do feel like I need to get him a new mate. So that is the plan. I have been speaking to um, Glenn at Lee Valley Aquatics and he is hopefully going to get me another Cobra snakehead for him to sort of help him out with his loneliness. But yeah, let me show you where I'm going to be putting him. So like I said in a few videos ago, I am closing this tank down. Look how much algae is growing on this tank. I've sort of neglected it. There's snails everywhere and all sorts going on in this tank. But I am going to be closing this tank down. Um, it actually looks really cool at the moment. Um, the Monte Carlo has grown really well. There's so much Monte Carlo growing. Um, but yeah, I am closing this down. I'm going to give it a good clean up. A friend of mine is having it off me. He's going to escape it, put it in his basement and do something really cool with it. 
because um, like I said, I am into my monster fish. I, that's what I'm about. I do like keeping my big fish. Um, so yeah, basically this tank's sort of kind of getting in the way for me at the moment. But yes, the snakehead tank's gonna be going here. Um, I've got a mate of mine who's got a tank at the moment in his kitchen, which he's getting rid of, and we're gonna be putting this here. Um, it is, I think it's about 350 litre, the tank itself. It hasn't got a sump or anything, so I'll probably put a canister on it. There's a 407 in this tank, which I'll probably put on, put that on there. And then, um, yeah, I wanna go sort of like red gravel with wood, with Anubias and stuff like that. So really low maintenance, but really cool looking and effective. But yes, guys, it's really hard to get this fish to actually show you um, because he's so shy. I'm trying to get him used to the camera. I'm trying to get him used to me. But honestly, it's a really cool looking fish. It takes food like absolutely crazy. And um, I'm just so excited to get this fish bigger. But it's just a basically an update today on the snakehead to see how he's getting on. He's getting on absolutely fine. But like I said, I do want to get him a new friend. But anyway, thanks for watching the video as always. Like and subscribe to my channel, the notification bell, and have a good new year, everyone. Take care.